We ought not to live a life in fear. The only fear that's righteous and that we everybody ought to have is a fear of God. You, you search the Bible for fear, being afraid, you know, synonyms of, of just being in fear. The only time we're told to be in fear is to fear God. And that's told, that's hammered home a lot. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God. Fear the Lord. Fear God. Fear not him, you know, that's able to destroy your body. Fear him that's able to destroy both soul and body in hell, right? Don't, don't fear what man can do unto you. Don't fear, you know, other things. Fear what God can do. Fear God. But don't have a fear of, like, other circumstances, other things. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I mean, you can be this close to death, this close to disease, this, you know, walking right through the valley of the shadow of death, yet I will fear no evil. I'm not going to fear. I'm not going to be afraid of it. What, what's going to happen is going to happen, but if you are... If you are ordering, you know, if you are walking the way that God tells you to walk, he's going to order your steps for you. He'll order your steps before your feet and can navigate you through the most difficult of times. But we need to maintain that faith so we don't fall into fear. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1.7, go back to Romans 5. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1.7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound Mind sound means like sane, level headed. You're not going crazy. You're not just flipping out. God's given us that spirit of power and the spirit of love and the spirit of having a sound mind. So if you're impacted by this and if you've been experiencing a lot of fear, okay, you need to seek God to help you with that fear and try to come to terms with being able to put your trust completely in the Lord. Right. Think about the way, you know, I hope I, and I always and I want my children to be able to trust completely in me to protect them, right? So if there's something bad happening, they, could, they know they can always just run to me and I'm there for them and I'm there to protect them. And there's a sense of security. I remember I was trying, uh, this came up this week where I don't remember what was happening. It's just watching kids like fall asleep in arms of their parents and stuff. I vaguely, rem vaguely remember, you know, just being cuddled by one of my parents or something when I was real little. And that sense of comfort that you have and just no care in the world and you don't have to worry about anything. You're not thinking about bills. You're not thinking, you don't have any stress in your life, right? You might get scared about something, but your parents can provide that level of comfort and just wash away all of your, your doubts and fears. Well, that's the same way that we ought to be able to go to God with our doubts, with our fears, with our problems, and completely rest, you know, figuratively in his arms and feel that comfort and support and love from our Father that just knowing and trusting that he's going to watch out for us and, and he's going to help us do what's in our best interest if we're relying on him and be able to, to lead us in the way of life, lead us in the right way. Even when things around us are all going crazy, we trust in him. And if he allows for, for, you, know, for you to, to succumb to sickness or disease, well, we trust that there can still be a greater purpose for that and that God will still be with us, right? And, but either way, we don't need to fear. Because if God has it for you to get sick, then you're going to get sick, and there's no point in getting afraid of that. Right. I mean, it really is no, there's no, there's no, being in fear serves no, no real purpose for you at all. Right. It's just going to add stress and cause more problems. But if you can just go into it and say, well, here we are. And, and I thank God there's certain areas of my life where, because it, it, it's comforting to have that boldness and to just not, to not care.